I'm telling you, that is a lot of flying time. Coming in from behind us, he's got the throttle and the prop control pushed all the way forward. Kevin Rousseau wants to dedicate this flight to his girlfriend, Kathy. This is her first air show ever. Kathy, this one is for you. Kevin Rousseau is going to pull up, roll the airplane over. Keep your eyes on this. Now notice how graceful this is. Those of you tracking this on video cameras, you're going to have no problems with this airplane. And here we go. He's going up and over right now. Now you're hearing a lot of rapping sounds. That's the propeller. There's the rap. That's the propeller as the tips go supersonic. Camera there. Now he's going to off with an aileron roll. He's got the stick all the way over to his left knee. This airplane is so light on the ailerons, it feels like it's not even connected. But it sure is very responsive. This airplane was designed to mimic the light control feel of the warbirds that the pilots were going to be getting into afterwards. He's coming back in from the right. 600 horsepower up front. Propeller tips going supersonic. That's why you hear that beautiful sound and that low throaty rumble. That's the radial engine up front. Nine cylinder, 600 horsepower. He did one loop. He's going to pull it up over the top. He's looking at clouds right now, which is actually a pretty good reference for me. What are you doing, aerobatics? Here comes the fun part. He's hanging by the belt. And now he's getting squished into the seat at the bottom of the loop. That rumble you hear, that is the sound of the engine itself. Now what's really interesting is that you do not hear the rap of that prop in the cockpit of the airplane. Why? I don't know, but you don't hear it. You sure hear it out here though, don't you? I love that sound. Coming in from the left, here comes Kevin Rousseau. Keep your eyes on it. Let's count it as he does it. Here's one. Here's two. Stopping this airplane precisely every 90 degrees. We're going to do a little whipperdill here and turn the airplane around. the seat of the airplane, no matter how tight you get those belts, it just doesn't happen. They stretch enough that you feel like you're hanging free. That was a half Cuban eight. Turn around. Watch. Bringing the airplane around. Once again, hanging by the belts. All that radio engine music up front there. The inside or barn Pulling up, I bet she's going to do another half cube and eight here. He's going to turn the airplane around, wait for the roll. There it is. And I bet she's going to cap it off with an aileron roll going out off into the distance. Pitches the nose up. There it is. Stick hard to the left. You literally bang your knee with the stick when you want to roll. The AT6, that's how you gotta do it. You gotta make sure you got at least 180 miles an hour. You pull up, you bang your knee with the stick, the airplane comes around. When the wings are level, you bring the stick back to center again. You're straight level and having a great time. Coming in from the left, count them. Watch for the pitch up, pulls the nose up. Here's one, two, three, 
duplication of the C-47 minus the two engines coming around from the left. By the way, that was a barrel roll he just did, describing a barrel in the sky. Kevin Rousseau coming back in from the left. Keep your eyes on this one. This is a toughie. Here comes the nose up. Watch, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. I got it right today. Kevin Russo, the 16-point hesitation roll, stopping precisely every 22 and a half degrees. And yes, there is a 32-point roll. We're not doing it. It's too complicated for me to call. And you ask him, why does Kevin do so many loops in his routine? And I'll tell you why, because right at the top, you're hanging by the belt, you're literally weightless, and that is just so much fun. It's kind of like when you're in an elevator and the floor drops out from under you and the elevator starts going down. Well, it's like that, only more intense. I'll tell you what, in a day like today, Kevin Rousseau has a thermometer in there, as he does in the world. It is 125 degrees in the cockpit of that airplane. Oh, my aching eyes. It is a pressure cooker. You got all that plexiglass and all this beautiful sun, and Kevin Rousseau is going to be well done. We will have to stick a fork in him because he will be done when he lands this airplane. Now, I've heard a lot of people asking, why is it that Kevin will not be landing here? And I'll tell you why. It's because of landing speed and crowd separation requirements. It's a safety issue, everybody. That's why he cannot land here. He has to recover at a different airfield. Coming in from the right, here's Kevin Rousseau, the AT-6 Texan on the photo pass. Jersey. I'll tell you what, that is a whole lot of fun. 